This video we're going to talk about what the right hand does through impact. We just recently went to a pro event. It's really great to be able to take some slow motion video watching pros warm up and on the course. And we're going to look at a number of pitch shots and look at how that, uh, that right arm works. So Nate, we've talked about this before in, in some of the videos that, that you've done. What do you like to see as you're coaching with this right wrist and the right thumb as you come into impact? So at impact, we want to be coming back almost to where we've set up. We're going to be having the weight of the club behind us. And therefore, as we are transitioning from the top, our thumbs are going to feel like they're kind of rolling down back to the right. Yeah. So go ahead and hold that position there. Mm -hmm. Right wrist hinge or right wrist extension and the right thumb pointed down or in ulnar deviation there at the point of impact. So let's look at this on some pro swings. You can see how this is how the best golfers in the world manage their impact. Got Matthew Wolf on the left, Thomas Peters on the right. Let's first look at Wolf's shot here as he's warming up for his tournament round. Little clockwise motion here, club outside the hands and then clockwise comes slightly behind the hands. Mm -hmm. So to, we always like to see. And then, Nate, what do you see here in terms of the right wrist and the right thumb with Matthew? What's going on here through impact? Okay, so at the top in transition, he's uh, got the wrist loaded in the correct way. So now as he's transitioning and going down, he can passively allow the weight of the club head to travel behind the hands with those thumbs kind of coming down. And you can see the face, therefore, is just we're just passively rotating through, allowing the arms to fall or release, but not having that face at all move shut. It's, it's continuing to keep that face square with the right thumb down action. The weight of the club is behind us so that we can just pull it through into a nice release with relaxed arms like Wolf just did on that little 20, 15 yard chip shot. So here's Thomas Peters. This is about a 40 yard shot and you're going to see very similar action, right? So a slight clockwise motion, right? A little bigger, a little bigger load, right? Mm -hmm. But we see the right wrist hinge or extension and look at those thumbs down. I like to visualize that this helps really press the bounce of the club to just glide through the turf there. Mm -hmm. So look at those thumbs down and he's not flexing his wrist. He's just those thumbs down and the body rotation. Notice where their chest is pointed. Right? It's not just ripping the arms and the wrists around them, right? The, mm -hmm. the body is pointed towards there. Uh, I think what's also interesting to look at here is the angle of the blade. It's not ripping shut. It's really neutral through that whole sequence on both of those shots. Exactly. It's staying square almost the entire swing, basically. If you want to play better golf today, it helps if you've got a coach. We've got a terrific program where you send us your swings with an app online, very convenient, do it anytime, day or night, and we quickly give you feedback and turn around. We've got a 14-day free trial. Click the link in the description below and check it out today.